there. Thanks for tuning in. Jeff here with Morgan from the Big Shooter's channel. And today we're talking about penetration. Stick around. One of the most popular firearms that we've tested uh, on the entire channel has been uh, Armscore's 22 TCM. Uh, it's a fast little round, it's a 40 grain projectile. A lot of people like to compare it to the 5.7x28 or the FN 5.7 uh, and people often ask uh, what the comparison is uh, with performance, with ballistics. So we've got um, a local source cooking us up some ballistic gel and so you don't have to wait and so we can start answering that question today. We're going to try penetration testing with some water jugs. What we hope to do if we have enough jugs is we're not only going to test the 5.7 and the 22 TCM, we'll also uh, fire a 22 long rifle uh, so you have something to base it against uh, and a 223. And again, this isn't any scientific testing. The barrel lengths are all different. The ammo types are all different. It's just something to try to start uh, opening the dialogue up as to uh, a comparison between uh, these two rounds, the 22 TCM and the 5.7 by 28. So who's going to do the shooting today? I don't know, can you keep up? You're going to get wet. Alright. Alright, let's do some shooting. We're going to start out with the uh, FN uh, PS90. Uh, it's a short barreled rifle version and we're going to use the SS197SR round, uh, 40 grain uh, Hornady uh, VMAX projectile. SS197SR uh, performed a little bit better than I thought that it would. Uh, real good penetration. Obviously, uh, one jug, no problem. I assume that maybe we'd penetrate um, into the second one. Um, got a nice clean exit hole here. And the second jug, um, entrance hole right in, the, uh, right in the center. And you can see where the hydraulic pressure caused it to fracture in different places. And one of them was on the bottom but the entrance hole is right here. The exit hole is again right in line with it. And on the third jug, this surprised me, there's our projectile. And I'll take it back and I'll weigh it so we can see what type of weight retention uh, that we had, if any. It may just be the jacket, um, the tip. I don't know if you can see that, but the tip is actually right here. Um, it came out and settled in on the uh, table below it. So. We've got two complete uh, jugs and uh, into the third. So let's try the uh, 22 TCM. The next round that we're going to try is the 22 TCM. It's a 40 grain uh, pointed soft point, almost a hollow point. And uh, I asked real nice and Morgan said that I could shoot too. So let's see how it does. That was wet. TCM. That was impressive. We made it completely through the first jug. Kind of had an idea that would happen. Entrance hole in the second. Exit hole in the second. A lot of hydraulic pressure tears. And clear entrance hole into the third. And what you probably can't see try to get it to a point that you can. Let's show you. Excuse yourself. And what looks to be a completely intact uh, projectile and I'm real anxious to get back and uh, measure the weight on this one. Uh, I'm going to be surprised if it has any less than 90% uh, than weight retention. 
And here's the 22 TCM that we recovered. Uh, looks almost completely intact and very flat where it hit. So we tested the two that we were interested in testing. Uh, now let's uh, let's get a baseline. Let's look at what some common calibers uh, will do. We're going to do a uh, 22 long rifle, uh, 36 grain projectile. With the uh, platform is going to be a GSG 1911 uh, from the same distance. Let's see how the 22 long rifle does. So the 22 long rifle, entrance and exit into the second jug, some hydraulic fracturing, entrance, clear exit, third jug, entrance, exit, and jug number four. No exit. Let's see what we're left with. A projectile that is barely misshapen at all. Um, it looks to be almost 100% of the uh, weight retention. But uh, like the others, we'll bring it back and measure it. So this actually made it into the fourth jug and looks like it retained almost all of its weight. And the 22 long rifle. Barely misshapen. And the only marks uh, appear to be the rifling marks. I'll be very surprised if this comes in at under 99% of its, uh, its weight. Well, that's going to conclude our testing for today. Um, we don't have any milk jugs that are left that aren't perforated. Uh, the next set of tests that we'll do will be with some ballistic gel, and when you can actually see the, uh, the wound channels, it'll actually make a little bit more sense, and uh, you add what we've done today to that, and it should tell a nice picture. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. I think it's over here. And uh, tell your friends about it, and share us in your entire social network universe. Um, Morgan, do you have anything you'd like to add? Not really. Until next time, have fun and be safe. Thanks a lot. Right. Good shot.